Hello? Subscribe, give us a like and write in the comments below which of the former footballers of your favorite club do you miss the most and why. And while you're writing, we are about to begin. Let's get going! Miral Pjanic wants to return to Juventus. He knows that Barcelona doesn't need him. The Terrans can loan the Bosnian as he agrees to a salary cut in order to return. Carl Ancelotti partially pleaded guilty in the case of non-payment of 1 million euros of taxes. He agreed to give the required amount of money. PSG announced the extension of the contract with Maurizio Pochettino and his coaching staff until the summer of 2023. Barca is ready to sell Filippo Coutinho, Samuel Umtiti and Neto. But there are no offers for them. Manchester United held talks with representatives of Eduardo Camavinga, but the club was told that the player wants to move to La Liga. Manchester United is in talks with Leon Goretzka. The Red Devils are trying to offer Bayern midfielder a contract much bigger than in Munich. Karim Benzema has contracted the coronavirus. Get well soon! Son Heung-min extended his contract with Tottenham until the summer of 2026. This is my home, the South Korean said. Isn't that cute? Compulsory vaccination against coronavirus is introduced in the Premier League. Players and coaches must be vaccinated against COVID-19 by October 1st. Borussia Dortmund is close to transferring Daniel Mellon from PSV for 30 plus million euros. Atalanta will sell Christian Romero to Tottenham for at least 55 million euros, Fabrizio Romano says. Gabriel Jesus is Juventus' top priority to boost the attacking line, according to Calcio Mercato. Barcelona will play against Juventus on the 8th of August for the Juan Gamper Trophy. We are waiting for another meeting between Messi and Ronaldo. Carlo Ancelotti created a special plan for Azar to prevent recurrence of injuries. Former player of Milan and Italy's national team, Andrea Poli moved to Antalya Spor. The contract is valid for three years. Former Barcelona and Brazilian midfielder Paulinho will continue his career with Al Ali. The Brazilian moved as a free agent. Former Leicester striker Ahmed Moussa has completed his move to Turkish Karagumruk. The contract is valid for two years. Troyes announced about Matinho's move from Flamengo. The French club has the same owners as Manchester City. Modric, Kroos, Varane and Bale have returned to training of Real Madrid. Granada, Chelsea and Juventus are showing interest in former Man United goalkeeper Romero. Goran Pandev will have a farewell season with Genoa. Patrick van Anhalt negotiated a contract with Galatasaray. The footballer will be taken by the Istanbulites for free. Villarreal defender Ramiro Funes Mori will continue his career with Al Nasser. Roma is close to extending the contract with Lorenzo Pellegrini until the summer of 2025. The player's clause will amount up to 30 million euros. Benfica announced the signing of Sauli Hamete, the rights to which were previously held by Torino. Elex Mariba wants to receive 6 million euros per year. Barcelona is not ready to pay that much for an 18-year-old kit. The Catalans will sell the player for at least 30 million euros. The Premier League giants are showing interest in the youngster. Bayern will donate 1.1 million euros to flawed victims in Germany in a charity match against Schalke. Zenit is ready to sign Valencia winger Gonzalo Guedes. The footballer was offered a three-year contract with a salary of 2.2 million euros. Borussia presented the Black Away kit. It was given to children of different origins as part of a social project. Roma wants to sign Sardar Azmoun, but Bayer also wants to compete for Zenit striker and is ready to pay 18 million euros. Some interest in friendly matches occurred yesterday. The results are in front of you. And now it's time for us to dive into the main news of the release. Sky Sports, a highly reputable source, confirmed Pogba's unwillingness to sign a new contract with Manchester United. Now the leadership of the Red Devils must decide whether to sell him in the summer or allow to leave for free. Paul himself, and this is no secret to anyone, wants to go to PSG. Paris believes that 50 million euros should be enough for Manchester United to let go of the player. Yesterday, the world of football was blown up by the news of Harry Kane's move into Man City for 160 million pounds. This was brought by the late TalkSport edition, but today, the more authoritative edition, The Telegraph, clarified that £160 million is the price for which Tottenham is ready to let go of its main star. The citizens are not going to pay that much for Kane. Negotiations will continue, though. Other Man City players are to be included in the transfer. 
Jadon Sancho has officially become a player of Man United. The terms of the contract is until the summer of 2026. The agreement includes an option to extend it for another season. The transfer amount is 85 million euros. Sancho will earn over 250,000 pounds per week, including bonuses. The official Twitter account credit Jaden humbly, Young King. Going to Manchester United is a dream come true. We will achieve the success fans clearly deserve. The newcomer said, He is a forward player in the best traditions of Manchester United. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer did not hide his joy. Do you think he will do well at Old Trafford? And again, we have a new piece involving Cristiano Ronaldo. Yesterday, he was sent to Manchester City, and today, surprise, surprise, to PSG. Corriere de la Sport thought that life was quite a chore for us and stated that the Portuguese still wants to leave Juventus. His new aim is to move to Paris. He is awaiting for the actions from Parisian president Nasser al Hilafi. The Qatari in turn will negotiate on Ronaldo only in case Mbappe leaves PSG this summer, but this seems almost an impossible outcome. Nevertheless, thanks to Corriere de la Sport, and we are moving on. Meanwhile, PSG is not giving up hope, making new attempts to encourage Mbappe to sign a new contract. Nicolas Kira reports that the club's bosses have offered Kylian 32 million euros a year and a contract until the summer of 2026. The striker himself is weighing the pros and cons of moving to Real Madrid in the summer of 2022. We wonder how much cash Al Hilafi has to offer to make Mbappe forget about the Santiago Bernabeu stadium. At the same time, Real Madrid is looking for the perfect moment to contact PSG. But what if Madrid misses the perfect opportunity? The Griezmann saga should become more heated in the next few days. The thing is that, that the ubiquitous journalist of El Charanguito TV got the info of Griezmann's sister, Maud Griezmann, arriving in the capital of Catalonia. She's Antoine's agent. In the upcoming days, a meeting of the leadership of Barcelona and Griezmann's sister will take place. The possible departure of a football player or a salary reduction will be brought to the table. ESPN shocks the fans of Barcelona. It turns out that Grizzly doesn't intend to reduce the salary under any circumstances. Of course, because he receives 35 million euros. This is 15 million euros more than Messi receives under the new contract. There is a possibility that Barca will pay extras from their own pockets in case the Frenchman can still move somewhere else. Now that's some messed up stuff, friends. The fun continues in Barcelona. The Catalans will not fit into the salary ceiling prescribed by La Liga. The club's management held meetings with representatives of Busquets, Alba and Roberto, but all of them refused to cut salaries for the good of the club. Busquets receives about 16 million euros, Alba about 13 million, Roberto 10.5. Barca can register Messi, Depay, Aguero and Garcia as newbies. ESPN even dons Barcelona supporters by stating that Lionel can miss the first part of the season and be involved in action only from January, when Laporta already settles all the financial issues down. As for now, Barca has a deadline until September 1st. Friends, go to our Bamas project and find out why Lionel Messi is performing better for his national team than Cristiano Ronaldo. Check it out by yourself. It was Football News. Have a good one and see you in a bit.